What's up people, it's King Double Seventh, and I'm making a video. This was actually supposed to be the first video I made on my return to uploading videos. I'm going to be trying to upload a video every single day for a whole year. We'll see how that goes, we'll see what that does, but this video is about why I'll never play Destiny or any Activision game or any Bungie game ever again. Because new Bungie is not the Bungie that I grew up with. I'll probably do a separate video on the Bungie that I do grew up with some other time. Excuse me. But let's talk about what has happened to Destiny. So this Destiny is not the Destiny that I fell in love with in like 2014, my freshman year of college. That I played for like hundreds of hours in the first week alone. I don't know what this Destiny is. I haven't. I don't even have the game anymore. I sold Destiny. Um, yeah. It's funny. I did the same exact thing with Destiny as I did with Halo 4 because it just doesn't feel like with anything that like it should. This game, first of all, Destiny 2 should not have ever been created. Like Bungie said something interesting in an interview. They said that you have to earn the right to put a number next to a name and I don't know why they thought they earned that right with Destiny 1 like yeah it sold a good amount but it was far from a great game deserving a sequel you had so much more content that was left to be put on there and let's be honest Destiny 2 is just more Destiny 1 content just with a number next to its name like it I don't know so well I'll get into that later. Let's talk about why I dislike the Destiny franchise now. And it didn't really start with Destiny 2. My disdain towards Destiny, and I think a lot of people's disdain towards Destiny, it started with the latter half of Destiny 1. Because a lot of people appreciated Destiny because of the fact that the gun mechanics were so smooth, gunfights went so well. It was just such a good first person shooter. But in the latter half of the years, well, also, raids and things like that were just incredibly fun. But in the latter half of the year, fusion grenades were just so strong that it just eliminated gunfights, period. People just run up to you and throw grenades and just get supers and use supers. But also, with every raid that came, past raid became irrelevant so whenever you get a new raid they advertise to new fans oh hey come to the game we have a new raid they just make everything else just totally useless because you want new people to be able to come in quickly and not feel left behind even though I don't know why there's no other game like that where if you just come in you can easily be on the even playing field with everybody else but that's how Bungie chose to make Destiny and that's whatever. Not only that though, even if you look on a pricing scale, every time they came out with a new DLC, well, for instance, the Taken King. You could get the Taken King and everything else hardcore gamers spent. I spent about $200 on Destiny 1 up until the Taken King. Someone could come straight into that game and get all of that stuff for $60. Maybe if it was a hundred, like hundred dollars, I'd be like, you know what? That's fine. Like, it's the game is aged; it deserves to be priced down a little bit. But to get Taking King, the Dark Below, I forget the other name of that other DLC. To get all of that plus Vanilla Destiny for sixty dollars, when all of us spent so much money on that game, that's kind of ridiculous. Also, you know, so like I said, they just totally ruined their game by buffing things or not buffing things that didn't deserve to be buffed or didn't need to be unbuffed and then they just totally ruined their foundation by a foundation of hardcore gamers by trying to over give to new people coming in but then they make destiny 2 another game that we have to spend $60 on and they did the exact same thing it's like they didn't learn they focused so much more on 
making things on even playing field for people coming in they didn't give a damn about their hardcore gaming and I'm of the belief that if you want gamers to be loyal to you you have to be loyal to your gamers like there is no other company that I feel like is out for money like Bungie and Activision where except maybe like EA and 2k when I play Overwatch, I don't feel like Blizzard is just trying to dig into my pockets. Because I get so much free I get free maps, free characters, and things like that. If I want to buy some skins, yeah, sure, I'll support the game because it's so good and they give me so much for free. It's not like that with Destiny. I don't feel like they're giving me anything. Like, if anything, all they're doing is trying to take away, which makes it so draining to play that game. That's why I don't have it anymore. I sold that game just like I sold Halo 4. When I play Fortnite, I don't feel like they're just trying to, you know, take my life savings out of my bank account. I feel like they just, they're, I feel like other companies are so focused on their games being good. They know that people will buy extra stuff just to support us. But I feel like Bungie is skipping that step. They're just like, well, we need all of that money up front. We need you guys to just give us everything you have right now in order to play our game. Because, I mean, we don't know if you guys are stay there. So, I feel like they have so little confidence in their game. They just want people to spend as much money on it as possible. And as quick a time as possible. So, they just flood you with all of, this, all of these microtransactions and things like that. Which I don't feel like that with any other game. If the microtransactions are there, don't get me wrong. But, I don't. I don't feel as forced to spend money in other games as I do in Destiny. Because you have to spend money for every little thing in Destiny. If they come out with new maps or new stories and things like that, you literally have to buy amounts of money in order to... Or you have to buy certain things in order to play with your friends. It's just ridiculous. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't bungie dead like that's all i can say bungie just seems dead it's not the old bungie that i used to love used to wait to come out with a game every single year it's not that bungie anymore. i don't know who this new bungie is i don't know where activision did with old bungie i know a lot of them quit but yeah it's just sad this video is probably just going to be a mess of ideas because that's pretty much, I would like to have conversations, I like to talk to people in a more raw manner and to just edit everything and make it perfect. I would really love for you to, guys to hear my raw ideas. So that's the end of this video I guess, I'll probably make another video talking about this some other time, maybe talking about the old Bungie that I used to love and whatnot. But that's it for now. Please comment on why you still like Destiny or why you hate Destiny. Put that in the comment section. Please like the video. This is King of Seven signing out. Peace.